Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. Say hi. I don't think they've ever met you, that you before, huh? This is Savannah. You say hi? No. Okay. Yes, we are here with wet hair yet again at the beginning of this video. I just got out of the shower. I haven't done a reading vlog in a little while, so uh, I thought it would be fun to do one this weekend. I plan to do a bunch of reading. Guess I'll tell you about my reading plans kind of right now. I'm actually in the middle of The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. I reached just around a half of the book so far and I am Oh, loving it it may be my favorite of the series so far right now if you didn't know this book up by the way I'm, re I'm being really bad with like talking about summaries for books I need to like I need to do that from now on in reading vlogs but this is a historical romance book third book in this companion romance series by Tessa Dare that I'm just in love with I've read the previous two books um, but this one is about Penny who collects animals kind of like she has a really soft spot for pets and animals and so she takes in the ones that people don't want or are injured and she loves on them. Her next door neighbor is trying to sell the uh, house for a larger profit and he knows that no one's gonna wanna live next door to a bunch of pets like a goat and a steer and an otter. So he like helps her like find homes for her pets. There's also like different plots with why she agrees to this and all this stuff but it's a romance between these two characters and I am loving it. <laughs> and then I'm also currently listening to Lover Mine by J.R. Ward. I think this is like number nine or ten in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This is a paranormal romance series, urban paranormal romance series um, with the vampires and the vampire society. It is so good. It's so good. It just gets better and better and better. As the series goes on and I've been I've been loving it this book is so good in particular but yeah I just finished like the halfway mark I've just got over halfway done with the book and I am excited to know what happens I'm nervous because J.R. Ward is so unpredictable with what she can do with her characters sometimes that like I don't know what's going to happen like I kind of know what's gonna happen like in the end but like I need to know what happens in between <laughs> I'm going to be listening to that a little bit tonight because I'm going to be cleaning my very messy room behind me if you can see and I got some books for my birthday last week and I haven't found spaces for them on my shelves so I'm gonna put them on my shelves and then I'm also going to be reading some arcs that I got through NetGalley this weekend I want to knock a few of those out because they look so cute I can't think of the titles off the top of my head right now but when I get to them later on this weekend I'll for sure let you know what it's about and the title and everything like that and I if I finish it I'll give y'all maybe like a little mini review those are my reading plans for the next couple days oh I also forgot to say before I go to sleep tonight I really want to dedicate some time this weekend to watching booktube videos more specifically uh booktube newbies that's how i find most of the people i'm subscribed to is because i look at the like booktube newbie tag and i look through it and i find new people to watch and that's how i've met like so many of my booktube friends now like ashley from ash heart books hannah from being the bookologist like i found them through looking through the booktube newbie tag in youtube i've just met so many wonderful people that way so i love to do it. i love to spend a little bit of time every month watching some booktube newbie vids so whoever i come across i'm going to probably maybe shout them out in this video and go check them out spread some love you know what i mean hey y'all it's the next day i just want to update you with what i read last night really really fast so i ended up reading um a little bit of the wallflower wager last night i did not finish it i was way too tired um i maybe have just a little bit over 100 pages left in it so i'm excited to maybe finish that today i am actually in the parking lot of half price books right now i wanted to go get the rest of the black dagger brotherhood series because i need them in my life like i need them i recently just bought the next two books off of amazon used so i'm waiting for those to come in the mail so i just think i'm gonna go in here and see what else of the series I don't have and even maybe purchase ones that I haven't even listened to yet so we will see but I was looking at my to read bookshelf and I was like you know what I'm not gonna read 
some of these. Like, I realize that. Here are a few of them. I have Atonement by Ian McEwan. I'm pretty sure you pronounced that. I thought I was going to read this, but in reality, I know that I'm not going to. The Wild Queen by Carolyn Meyer. The, I bought this book back when I was in my Rain phase. The TV show Rain. I loved Mary Queen of Scots, and that's a book about Mary Queen of Scots, but I'm never, I'm not going to read it. I know it. And then I have The Longest Ride by the Nicholas Sparks. I'm not really into Nicholas Sparks anymore. There's another Nicholas Sparks in here. Um, we have The Winter Sea by Dee Morris. I don't even know what this is about. I'm not interested. The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp. Don't think I'm ever gonna get to that book. We have The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. My grandma gave me this because she didn't just want it, she just didn't want it anymore. But I don't really read scary books, so gonna unhaul that. Oh, here's the other Nicholas Sparks, uh, The Choice. Then we have uh, The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. I, I don't really know that much about it, and if I actually want to read it someday, I can just go buy it again. Um, and lastly is a book I've already read and did not like. The graphic novel for V for Vendetta. Didn't like this at all. Had to read it for a British literature class last semester. The semester before, actually. So I'm gonna go into Half Price Books, see what I can get for these and um look for some black tiger brotherhood books and maybe some more we'll see so let's go hey y'all it's actually a couple hours later i've done two little book trips i went to half price books like i said and then i went and stopped by my local library because i had to return a book and while i was there i of course looked at the free shelf and picked up a couple things um the things that i got from the library for free i have a paperback version of the sea of of Monsters by Rick Riordan. I originally read these books back in elementary school through my school's library, so I only have the first one physically, and it's in paperback, so I found the second one and snagged it for my collection. And then I also found this gem. We have Hogwarts Classics. We have a little box set of... Let me get them out. We have Tales of Beetle the Bard, and we have... Quidditch through the ages and this is in this cute little box set I think that's so cute and I can't believe I found these really good books at the library in the free section I find so many great books in the free section of the library from half price books they only took a few books they didn't take all of them they took they, they left me with three I ended up finding one black dagger brotherhood book and it is the next book in the series that I needed and it's like my second favorite so far, so I'm so glad that I have it. This is Lover Avenged. I'm currently listening to Lover Mine. I kinda wanna go to Barnes & Noble to see if they have it right now. Like, can it just be a book shopping day for me? I think I might do that in a couple minutes. We'll see. I am so glad I found this. But I did buy another J.R. Ward book. We have Covet by J.R. Ward. This is a novel of the fallen angels. It is a first book in a different series by her about fallen angels. Um, that's all I know about it. I've been loving J.R. Ward, so I for sure picked this one up. I also picked up this book called A Perfect Darkness by Jamie Rush. This is a paranormal romance dealing with psychic abilities, maybe? So that sounded really good. Um, I think another book in the series caught my eye on the shelves, but this is the first in the series, so I picked up the first one first, so yeah, looks good. And then I got... Breath of Fire by Amanda Boucher. I got the first book for my birthday from my lovely friend Ashley here on Booktube Asher Art Books. So I found this gem for four dollars at Half Price Books, the second book in the series. So I bought it. And then I purchased Hot Dog Girl by Jennifer Dugan. I got this from the library like a couple weeks ago and never actually read it. And it was here for uh, nine bucks. So I bought it because <laughs> it's normally 18. Got it for half. This is a YA contemporary book about a girl who dresses up as a hot dog at a fair. And I think she like falls for the the prince of the fair. The guy dresses up as the prince in the fair. So that sounded cute. And lastly, I found this right by the cash register and was like, oop, getting it now. Right now. The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. I need this in my life. Oh my god. This is kind of like a continuation series, kind of, of like the Wrong to Need You, Wrong to Love You, Hate to Love You series, the Forbidden series. I talked about it in my birthday book haul and unboxing. I got all three of them in that video. And this is kind of like 
the continuation. This is about the sister of one of the love interests in one of the other books in that series. And uh, yeah, she like creates a dating app or something. And that's all I know because that's all I need to know because I love Alicia Rye and I need to buy it. So there you go. <laughs> I got rid of a lot of books, but I think I got more than I got rid of today. <laughs> I think I might head over to Barnes and Noble because I got some Barnes and Noble gift cards for my birthday. So I think I'm gonna see if they have any more Black Dagger Brotherhood paperback books because I'm actually okay with mass market paperback. Hello, it's a couple hours later and um, I did indeed go to Barnes and Noble. <laughs> so I got four books, all of them are from the Black Dagger Brotherhood. <laughs> also, I apparently like won a book, um, a free gift from Barnes and Noble. It's called Primary Suspect by Laura Scott. I have no idea what it is about, but they said, oh, you won a free book. So they gave me this. Don't know what it is. So today I really, really, really wanted to get Love or Mine by J.R. Ward because I'm in the middle of this one and am obsessed, obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I only have four hours left. Last night I started with 12 hours remaining. I just started this a couple days ago. This is like the 600 plus one. I'm loving this. This is John Matthews book, so I knew I was gonna love this one. And then I also got the next book, which is Lover Unleashed. People have said that this one is their favorite in the series, so I'm excited for this one. And the next one I got is Lover Reborn. And then last one I got was Lover at Last, and some people have said this is their favorite book in the series. I don't know, we'll see. As the series is going right now, this is looking to be my new favorite book in the series. So if one of these is better than this one, like, okay, how? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm going to put all of these on my bookshelves somehow. And I will chat with y'all later because I still need to read. I haven't read anything today except listening to Lover Mine. And I really want to read. I want to finish The Wolf Owl Wager and read an arc today. So hopefully that happens today. Hello. It is actually a couple hours later. It's around 6 15 p.m. and I just finished The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. This is getting a five out of five stars from me. I loved it a lot. This book goes even deeper than I thought it would and it like hit me in the feels a lot. I love this series. I think it just gets better and better after every book. So um, if you want to get into historical romance, I totally recommend the Girl Meets Duke series by Tessa Dare. The first one is called The Duchess Deal. Yeah, and it just gets better and better and better after each book. And this one was so good. I loved Penny. I loved Gabe. I could not put it down for the life of me. Like I just sat in my bed for the past two hours reading the rest of this book because I needed to know what happened because it's so good. It's so good. I loved all the animals in here. There are kittens, there's a steer, there's a goat, there's an otter, there's a dog whose back legs are amputated. So one of Penny's friends has made him like wheels for his back legs so he can walk and it's so cute. His name's Bixley and I love him. I want my own Bixley. <laughs> um, I love this. I'm gonna go add it to my Goodreads. Okay, so these are all of the books that I got today. And I only spent like 25 of my own dollars. So, yeah. <laughs> there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Whoa, 14 books. Okay then. I honestly thought it was like maybe like 10, but there's 14. Okay then. Also, I just want to show you what Oscar has made of my, the aftermath of my unboxing video. Want to say hi, Oscar? With my book outfit box. <laughs> you little nug. I just ate dinner and I wanted to pop on here real fast to tell y'all about some booktube newbies that I found while I was eating dinner. I looked at the booktube newbie tag page on booktube and I thought I would shout some people out that I found today. Most of the channels I found today 
romance channels and that rarely actually happens on the booktube newbie tag like page on youtube that rarely ever happens to me that i find romance channels or people that really enjoy romance so i loved that for me today okay so the first channel that i found is the wibbly wobbly book nerd this is her channel she has 107 subscribers she's just coming back from booktube from like a three-year hiatus i think she likes to read ya i think you can see it back in the shelves over here and she seems really sweet and nice so be sure to go check out her channel okay the next channel that i found today is alex from alex books it was really funny because she did her booktube movie tag inside of her car in the parking lot of target and i found that hilarious she's really really funny she said she predominantly reads romance books so i'm excited to watch more of her videos she also said that she has read the ice planet barbarian series so that was like an immediate subscription <laughs> i would subscribe to her anyway because she loves romance but like it made me click even faster because she's read Ice Planet Barbarians and I love Ice Planet Barbarians. So be sure to go check out Alex for sure. Next we have Tasha from Book Diva and she reads romance books too and she seems so 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 sweet and I can't wait to watch more of her videos. I can already see Diana Gabaldon in the background. I need to read her books. She just seems really, really sweet and y'all should totally go check out her channel. Next, we have Molly from Molly's Book Nook and More and she also reads romance books. So yay, another romance creator. Um, I love romance and it seems like she loves romance a lot too. So I cannot wait to watch more of her videos as well. So be sure to go check out Molly's channel. And lastly, we have Liz from Liz Moore. I, pretty, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. And she just seems like such a wonderful, sweet person. She said how she still loves Twilight and Twilight got her into reading and I'm the same. So I immediately subscribed to her and y'all should too. She seems super duper sweet and I can't wait to watch more of her videos. Okay, so those are a few of the people that I shouted out today. I said shout out five. I'm actually really enjoying Lovermine. I don't think I even like updated you on Lovermine. I have around four and a half hours left of the audiobook and I listened to it on two times speed. So um, maybe I can get it done tonight. We'll see. Um, I really want to start a book called Let Me figure out the name of it again <laughs> um this one is called against the rules by laura hefferman i believe sorry my vision sucks i cannot read that far from a computer against the rules by laura hefferman i think this is a romance book involving like like board games seems really really cute i got it off of net galley um i really want to read that book next but i'm kind of confused as to whether or not i should read the first book in the series because it's like in this it's the second book and i think in a can companion romance series. Wow, I'm talking really fast right now. I need to slow down. It's the second in a romance series, like a companion romance series. I'm contemplating whether or not I need to read the first one. I think I might just read the second one, and if I'm confused, I'll like just go read the first one. I need to also find space for this gem on my bookshelf. I'm also kind of peeved because I kind of, I actually really enjoy reading mass market paperbacks, like I don't mind. And so the second book in this series, The Governess Game, is in mass market paperback. But I got the first one from Book Outlet in hardback and they only make like hardback books that were supposed to be only mass market paperback. The only hardback versions are huge. Mungus. This is the first book in the series, The Duchess Deal, and look at them compared to each other. Like, this is like, it's father. The book's father. Like, it's huge. It's double, triple the size. Like, I can't put, like, this series with all my other mass market paperback books because it's gonna look weird just having the big one in my mass market paperback collection. I kind of want to make this whole shelf the Black Decker Brotherhood shelf. Like, I kind of want to do it, and I think I'm going to, and I'm sorry, Jane Eyre, I love you. But, like, I want to, I want to spice it up a little bit, you know? I want to, I want to change my shelves a little bit. I think this shelf is perfect. I don't think I'm going to change it. We'll see how I rearrange things. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm losing shelf space, y'all, and I don't know what to do. It feels like you got to put, like, your favorites in, like, the thumbnail space of your video, and that's, like, choosing a favorite child, you know? It is almost 10.30 at night. I just finished listening to Lover Mine by J.R. Ward. I loved it. 
I'm giving it a five stars. I don't know if I'm going to get to that romance book today. Oreo, you're making so much noise. I don't know if I'm gonna get to my arc today, tonight. I'm pretty beat. I kinda just wanna go to bed and cuddle with this nug. Yeah, I guess I'll update y'all in the morning. Oh my gosh, I look like a freaking tomato. <laughs> Hello, it is actually way later in the day. It is 5.30 in the afternoon. Sorry I haven't really updated y'all really today. I've been reading. I have read around 22, 21% of Against the Rules. I'm really enjoying this so far. I can give you a summary now. I don't think I gave y'all a summary earlier, but this is about our main character named Holly and she works at like a board game or like a gaming place. It's not like video games or anything. They're like games you actually play. Her best friend is Gwen and she has another friend named Shannon. But her best friend Gwen has a dad named Nathan and she has an unrequited crush on her best friend's dad. And he loves board games too and he's super nice. Holly has Nathan as her roommate because Holly was in a really bad relationship. Like her fiance cheated on her and then used all of her money for something illegal. I can't remember the details. She basically lost all of her money and she has nowhere to live. So Gwen said, oh, my dad has a spare room in his house. You should just stay with him. So that's what happened. She's staying with Nathan at the moment. Gwen tells Holly, it's been like a year and a half since this whole ordeal has happened to you. I think you need to get back out there, start going on dates and everything. So she sets up like a online dating account and is talking to guys and is trying to go on dates and stuff. The only good date that she has had in this experience is a guy that she met in person who flirted with her at the game store she works at. And she's been on dates with guys from like dating apps and stuff but they have gone horrible or the guys are really creepy or they send junk pics i'm really enjoying this book but i have an issue is that this author is kind of like inferring by what this character is going through that dating websites are full of creeps and people who only want sex which that may be true for some dating websites but i have i've personally like checked out a few of them. I've never been on an online dating site date before, but I have chatted with people. Like they're not, not everybody's creepy. Like not everybody's gonna send you junk pics. Like yeah, there are some sites that a bunch of people will do that. I just kind of feel like it's, it's not okay to say that every guy that she has met on this website is like a dick or a douchebag or a creep. That's the one thing that I'm having trouble with is that not every guy on a dating website is a douchebag. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe that'll change though. She's been chatting to other guys, so maybe a few guys will be good. I don't know. There's just this big creepo who like, she went on a date with who like asked her if she liked wearing mermaid tails, which 
excuse me? But I think this book is about the relationship between Nathan and Holly. I guess that's what I'm going to be reading about. There's just some unrequited feelings there. So maybe something will happen out of this. We will see. I am enjoying it so far. I just felt a little annoyed by the fact that every guy that she was meeting, she labeled as a douchebag. I also started another book while I went on my walk today with my dog. He is passed out right now. <laughs> I started Vicious by LJ Shen. I started the audiobook for it. I'm an hour into the audiobook. I'm enjoying it so far. I want to know what happens. The main issue that I have right when it started is that the female narrator I don't like her voice. <laughs> I don't like her voice. Maybe I'll get used to it. I don't know. The male main character, he's fine. But like right when the woman started speaking, I was like, oh no. <laughs> but I am going to go take a shower and then read some more. I actually have to do some homework, so. Hello, it is actually the end of this reading vlog. I decided to wrap it up right now because it is 11 o'clock at night and I am in the middle of editing this video so I can get it up tomorrow. I have not read anything since I last spoke to y'all. Today's just been a whirlwind since that clip. I had to do homework, was catching up on some booktube, and um, the stinker behind me decided to vom over everything in my bed and um, including my curtains. So my curtains are now a bed sheet for the night. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I read two five star books this weekend. I read The Wallflower Ridger by Tessa Dare and Love or Mine by J.R. Ward. And then I got around 20% of the way through Against the Rules by Laura Hefferman. And then I am, I think, on chapter four of Vicious by L.J. Shen. I forgot to tell you what Vicious is about. Basically, it's like a hate to love romance. Like, they hate each other. They hated each other in high school. He basically like, ruined her life in high school. And this takes place 10 years later, I believe. He ends up hiring her. Story takes off from that's where I am right now. They hate each other. So it is a hate to love. And um, I think it's going to get real steamy. So I'm excited. And yeah, I think I'm going to go listen to a little bit of that before I go to bed, but I'm gonna go finish editing this vlog. If you have read any of these books or if you plan to, please let me know down in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye.